the Outlaw John Roca. Thanks so much for clicking play on this reaction video for the first episode of Agatha All Along. This is one that I've been looking forward to because I really loved Catherine Hahn as Agatha Harkness in the WandaVision series. And, you know, she's that kind of really blew her up as if she was already known pretty much for a lot of us who have watched movies and TV shows. But this is the role that kind of really put... Catherine Hahn out there even more in the pop culture mainstream and now she's the voice of Wendy's and doing numerous other things as well uh but this is one that I you know I'm I'm excited I'm cautiously optimistic I always go into these Marvel shows hoping that they're good wanting them to be good but of course the, the Secret Invasion was the last one I think that we got and it was not a good series overall even though it kind of started out promisingly it wasn't as strong by the end so Going to be interesting to see what we're going to get here. This is the second part of the trilogy. They said that uh, uh, the uh, Vision Quest series, it's coming to be the third uh, uh, part of the trilogy here. So going to be excited to see how they're going to take, uh, or I'm excited to see how they're going to take the Act of the Harkness character um, uh, through this journey down the Witch's Road, which if those of you who read the comics, you know the Witch's Road is a storyline in the comics with her and Scarlet Witch going down the Witch's Road. But this is clearly her and a bunch of these other Witches and Coven, uh, the Coven of Witches are going to be part of this thing. And you've got a great cast. Patty Lapone coming in as Lilia, Aubrey Plaza as Rio, Paul Adelstein, Joe Locke playing what a lot of people assume is uh, Wiccan there uh, from one of Wanda's kids there. Uh, Shashir, uh, Sashir Zamata, who I loved on SNL uh, being a part of this. And we're going to get Emma Caulfield, Caulfield apparently coming back as Dottie and Deborah Joe Rupp coming back as Mrs. Hart, if you remember them both from the WandaVision series. So, are we going black and white? Are we, are we repeating the same steps from the WandaVision series? Is she going to be caught up in a bunch of different uh, uh, story or different uh, TV shows and go through the decades? What's going to be the approach here? Jock Schaefer is the creator for this one, and I think directing some of the episodes as well. Um, don't quote me on that, but I think she is creating the episodes as well. But, of course, Terry Metalis is going to take over from her um, to go into um, uh, Vision Quest. But... She's the creator here, like she was for WandaVision, but I don't think we get Matt, Sh Matt Shackman directing any of these episodes that I can see right now. So, you know, be curious to see what we're going to get overall from the direction, from the, yeah, here we go. Ganja Montero, Jock Schaefer, and Rachel Goldberg are the directors listed right now on IMDb. So we'll see what ones she's directing, what ones the other directors are directing, but uh, going to be curious to see. And these episodes are about 40 minutes each. Uh, of course, it's going to be smaller for those of you watching this reaction video. But uh, so, yeah, so there we go. So I'm 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 curious. I'm slightly excited. I'm cautiously optimistic. I hope it's a lot of fun. Certainly, we could use that in the Marvel Universe right now with all the drama going on and all the uh, angst behind the scenes with Marvel and, and what they got going on next. So, um, you know, we shall see. So let's uh, bring it up here and uh, let's take a look at this first episode for Agatha all along. Seekest thou the road? Oh, there she is. Is this the mayor of East Town thing they're doing? All right, some of you are a little more eagle-eyed or eagle-eared. What is she humming, I wonder? It must be something from WandaVision, right? It doesn't sound like Agatha all along. This is why you've got a gift in Catherine Hahn. She can play drama. She can play comedy. She can play a mixture of both. You know, she's just got one of those incredible talents inside of her. Another beautiful day. Hey, neighbor. Graham said, oh, yeah. She was crushed. By what? Ooh. Something big. Oh, she's really most sincerely dead. Never know. That's a little, I think that's a little allusion to Wanda because she was buried under the rocks at the end of Multiverse of Madness, a lot of people think she might still be alive. What is she looking for? Oh, oh. Was it a bro? Oh, the brooch. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, this is totally like Mare of Easttown. If you guys haven't seen Mare of Easttown, this is absolutely a Mare of Easttown illusion. Highly recommend it, by the way. So who is this? Is this how we meet Aubrey Plaza? <laughs> oh, perfect. What a great intro. <laughs> Based on the Danish series. <laughs> That's an allusion to, the, uh, to uh, the killing. 
uh, AMC's show that they did. There are no names on there, but there are dates. We don't use cards anymore. Everything. I'm sure those are Easter eggs. This book wasn't checked out. It was stolen three years ago. Ooh, a book. Is it a dark? Is it the dark hold? What book is this that's been stolen three years ago? Has she been there for three years? In this spell of uh, that uh, Wanda left her with for three years? Oh shit! Yeah. There was a fire. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> the donut in the mouth. Classic cop. Have you back, Agnes? <laughs> no, I, I love it. Perfect to play the chief. Yes, I know. Listen, Agnes. Uh, it's uh, Phil Jones, right? David uh, Lengel. Whole nails of the Jane Doe came back. They don't match the soil she was lying in. <laughs> She's got. Th they've got the accent. It's so great. Hey, there's Aubrey. Interesting. Just kind of introducing her. Interesting introduction. Thought it'd be a little more grander. Wait for it. Sure. Let's talk about the case. What are your theories? <laughs> well, she knows better, clearly, as we've seen from the trailers. Is that true? Agnes? I love how Aubrey's playing this. She's playing both, like playing into the scenario that Agatha has created here, but also knowing better. Oh, so yeah. trying to insinuate. But it seems like they have a history in their interactions here. So like, has she shown up before? Has she been a part of this before? Has she been trying to break the spell with uh, Agatha for the last three years? Yeah, because with WandaVision coming out in 2021, this is 2024. It makes sense. So is she trying to do that? Coward. It's triple goddess. Maiden, mother, crone. Ooh. See, that's going to be Easter eggs. I'll have to look that up after the show. How much you offering, Norm? You. Oh, yeah. Norm, Norm. right. He was the guy working with Vision at the at the office. Who was begging him to release his mind so he could talk to his sister, I think. Where's my phone? I have to call my sister. So he's a pawn shop. Pawn shop. Which is where people go to sell things that they don't want anymore. Or they can't afford to keep anymore. Dialogue and rhetoric. Known history of learning and debate. Rhetoric. We know what rhetoric is. Oh yeah, dar dark hold. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. If you guys got it before I did, congratulations. <laughs> She's like spelling it out for those of us who are a little slow. Oh Go shit. Home, Agnes. <laughs> I love this guy as an actor. He's got a great hangdog look about him. Hey. Go home. So is there a double meaning there? Go home, like go home, like get out of this. This all in Agatha's mind, or did she leave Westview? Wanda did, with everyone else having to play characters all over again and trapped in the situation all over again. I'm liking this so far, gotta say, because I like these kinds of shows, these kind of cop mystery shows or detective mystery shows. Maybe not everyone does, so I can see some Marvel fans being upset about this approach. Whereas, like the Wandavision beginning was much more like playful with the black and white I Love Lucy show appeal. This one is much more darker as a beginning. But the music here is really nice. I'm sure there are Easter eggs galore in this room. Nikki. Oh, so Nicholas. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, Nicholas Scratch is the son of Agatha Harkness. So in the comics. So this is part of it. So is Joe playing Nicholas Scra Scratch? That I was totally using the wrong foundation brush. <laughs> okay, so they're friends with a history. I'm worldly. Where have you traveled? Yeah, see, she's trying to get her out. She's probably been trying to get her out for three years now. Do you remember why you hate me? Hmm. Well, this is why you cast two actresses like this. So they can play with the backstory between each other. And do these layers and levels. You're only lying to yourself. Look how she doesn't react to it. Because she knows... Something's coming. Other things are coming. Oh. Hey! What are you doing? It has to be Joe, right? Oh. Hey, where are you? Oh. 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 
Well, there are worse ways to fall off a house. <laughs> Come on now. He'd have been far gone by now. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, it's totally Joe Lock. Oh, my God. So she doesn't know her? Interesting. Go get your perp. <laughs> yeah, Rio, she's playing it again, just playing it so well. Just that hidden subtext. What road? You of all people should know. Oh, yeah. Here we go. So here we go. We're off to bat the witch's road. Tell me what happened to her! Oh, my God. Flowers. What? Oh, interesting. And now Rio's gone. <laughs> it's not a... Where are they at? Oh, so what's she going to find here? The coroner's office. Like, is the body not going to be there? I'm, I'm sure it's not going to be a row of flowers in, in there, so... I think this is in the trailer because I think Rio's there as well. Or there's a tag on the body. Green eyes, five seven. Oh, she's making it happen. Oh, interesting. Okay. There's a Cora. Oh, is that Scarlet? So it was Wanda. Yep. So he's invest. She's investigating the death of Wanda. Interesting. I know some of you are probably like, duh. I like to let things play out. What are the dates? October 13th. Oh, there it is. Wanda Maximoff. That witch is gone. And all the copies of the dark hold with her. Ooh. Leaving you trapped in her distorted spell. Oh, wow, we're already just walking right into this. Yes, claw your way out. Ah, I'm hot. Oh, oh there's the purple. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, she's wearing a naughty, bedazzled. Oh, the leggings. Oh, the different characters. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It's a bit dramatic. Oh, the black and white version. There she is. Oh, there it is. So who are the names on the other? Like, that's got to be some great Easter egg stuff. <laughs> oh, the music here is great. Uh-oh. Here we go. Oh, is she naked? Oh my. Okay, Marvel. Oh, oh what, what? What is going on? <laughs> what? How long have I been living in this cesspool of a town? This is Herb, right? Isn't this Herb from Wandavision? Yeah, it's got to be Herb. I guess I didn't recognize him at the beginning. You know, stopping by and bringing you groceries and. Checking up on you. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's right, they're married. That's right, they're married. What are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> oh, jeweler. <laughs> yep, there he is. So are they Okay. I, I, yeah. Are they Can part of the town? Oh, okay. We'll do a little Catherine Hot butt action. All right. Marvel playing games now. This is gonna be some angry people, I think, going into the nudity. She took every little bit of power I had left me with household appliances. I mean, to be fair, you were using her the entire time in WandaVision, so I can hear the mumble. Oh, is that her? Is that Rio? Or is that someone else? Oh, it is Joe. So that arrest was maybe more of a kidnapping. <laughs> and that means... Oh! Damn! Oh, shit. It's got to be Rio, right? Yeah, it is. Aubrey Plaza. Well, now that's an entrance. Only physically. Oh! I'm sure there's something to that knife. Is she grabbing the blade? Yikes. Oh! Do you remember pain? It kind of tickles, doesn't it? Gotta find out who she is, if she's supposed to be someone from the comics. Oh, Jesus. Shout out to all these stunt performers. Who is she supposed to be? I am not the only one that wants to see you dead. 
So looking up at the Marvel Wiki right now, Rio Vidal is a warrior, which is known as a green witch with ties to Agatha Harkins. So she's the green witch. Who? Specifically. Mm. <laughs> the worst of them. The Salem Seven. The Salem Seven. Are these the witches that she took her, her power from in, in WandaVision? It's black. And it beats for you. Oh! Hey there. That's li that's uh, Spanish for I'll see you. There we go. Uh, <laughs> all right. You. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was directed by Jock Schaefer. All right. Uh, wait, I got to watch this part. Hold on. Oh, nice. Bewitched. This has almost got a um, what we do in the shadows ending vibe to it. So many different people to be. Is this is this a uh, Donovan? So that was the Disney witch, of course, and then these other witches, possibly. The witch. Oh yeah. So who sings that song? Oh, <laughs> Lisa Simpson, nice. Oh yeah, it is Donovan. I was right. Yeah. Suck at a D. What did he say? I'm sure there is so many Easter eggs in this uh, end credits. The tarot cards. All right, the magician. <laughs> what? Paddle boarding. I'll tell you. All right. All right. Look, I like that as a first episode back. I, you know, as I said, I'm a big fan of those Mayor of East Town type shows. So the fact that most of the episode was that energy and that look and that vibe and that um music and design i thought was really cool uh aubrey plaza Catherine hahn easy chemistry between them so great to see Catherine back as agatha or agnes in this episode um i'm really surprised that we've we've already dragged her out of where she was in the first episode i thought it'd be a build to her coming out and then going on the witch's road so kind of surprising it's happening already after the first or in the first episode rather in the joe lock uh equation why did she kidnap him? Why did she go over to him? What like what was that all about? Uh, and what is this? What is what was he trying to break into, or was he trying to find a way in, or something? Is that why she locked him up? Like, there's questions here uh, on what's real and what isn't real in all of this stuff, especially from the first to uh, uh, thirty minutes of the of the show, and then leading to the confrontation here with Rio, who, as I said, is the Green Witch, and I'll do some research on that. I don't know too much about her, but uh, there's a wiki on it. Um, and they're just saying she's a green witch and she has magic. So there you go. So going to be interesting to see what that, how that character plays out, uh, as the episodes go forward in their interactions. But I like this for a first episode to get me into seeing what's going on here. There's a darkness to this that I enjoy. It isn't going too much into the hokey jokey stuff. So I like that. The nudity thing was surprising. Blood here being licked off a hand is surprising. So I kind of like that for a Marvel show. It gets me excited to see what more is coming here with these uh, these characters and uh, what Rio was teasing about these other witches who have issues with Agatha and want to visit her and uh, explore things. And the questions I have about the neighbors, are they actually, like, have they just been dealing with Agatha being this way? Are they also under some kind of um, uh, spell that they have to deal with uh, Ag Agatha this way? I don't know. So there's questions abound on what's going on in Westview. And has Agatha really always been there the whole time? Or is she, have they just accepted it in their minds because of what Wanda did to them that she's been there a long time? So a lot of questions coming out of this first episode. I thought it was a good way to start the season. And I'm curious to see what we're going to get in the second episode. What do you think? Did you like this uh, approach here? The opening episode for Agatha all along? Did it work for you? Did you have a lot of fun with it? Or did you have some issues with it? Did you think it was weird? In tones, were you kind of like I was, where it's kind of shocking to see Aubrey Plaza introduced casually in this way? But then, of course, does a grand entrance into the house. What are your feelings and thoughts about this first episode? Let me know down in the comments section below. And what are Easter eggs that you caught or some of the allusions to things in the Marvel Universe that you caught uh, that I didn't mention here? And what do you think the dates are on the toe tag um, there? And is it... it, it why is she exploring Wanda's body? Is there a multiverse of madness connection? Let me know what your speculation and theories are after the first episode. Of course, the second episode 
is also coming out on the same it's coming out on the same night so i'm going to be reacting to that as well so look for my reaction on that coming soon as well but like give me your thoughts at this first episode down there and i'll talk to you next time with another brand new reaction video here on the outlaw nation take care until then thanks so much for watching this video please make sure to like comment share and subscribe for more content from the outlaw nation